Ciao everyone! Yo, what's up? Welcome back in Going Places. Today we are not going to interview anyone because today we are going to show you our version of the last video we made about Ricky's favorite dish from his own menu. Which is just here actually. So, for some of you that are unfamiliar with about this recipe, because we are talking about fresh uh, Italian cheese burrata. Wait, give me a sec, is it fine to, is it easy? So, let's say it's not really easy found this cheese in London, so that's the reason why we're gonna put the link below, so, to make you easy found this cheese. So, let's start with this recipe. We got Federico here with us that he's gonna show to us how to do this recipe. Are you ready for cook, aren't you? You said you were going to cook, no? I thought that uh, was the guy I was talking. All right. So, guys, I'm gonna talk now. Please, just let me let me go. We're gonna start from the basil. I actually love basil. I actually love basil. What? The smell is so good. The reason why we're gonna start with this one is because the main time we're prepping all the rest of the ingredients, the oil, olive oil, will absorb the flavor of the basil and the flavor of the garlic. That's the reason why we call this one basil oil. Actually, <laughs> you're right. So, what I'm gonna start with is with the basil. While I'm cutting the basil, man, do you know what you can do? You start helping me with the onions. Yeah, let's do that. So I can do that. For me, you can caramelize. How do you want me to cut the onion then? Just slice, actually. Alright. Nothing difficult. So, I'm gonna cut the basil, actually, my way. This is the way I love. I'm just gonna do really thin slice. So, it doesn't gonna get dark, get a dark color. I'm gonna say this nice green. As you can see, really thin. The same way he's doing it actually. This is called Julien. You can say cut in a thin way, but I just want to look cooler. So I just said Julien. Once you cut the, the onion, Julien, we're gonna start to warm up the palm with a touch of oil inside. That is enough. And we're gonna start to caramelize the onion. So we're gonna start to warm up the oil. As soon the oil is gonna get hot, we're gonna add the onion inside, a touch of water, make sure you're not gonna make explode the kitchen. So, and we're gonna uh, add a bit of vinegar and some of sugar, just to help them to caramelize easily. Okay, so as soon as the palm is warm, we add the onions, right? Say shit. So one day, one chef told me, if you wanna know when the oil is hot, you just need to touch the oil. If you burn yourself, means the oil is hot. <laughs> That's it, simple. All right. So, this is can all. you carry on? Can you carry on? Do you want to show them how to put the onions in the pan? I'm just gonna add some oil on it actually now. As you can see how beautiful it is. And in the meantime, you drink this one, you should do the preserve level for me. The onion here start to start to get cool. So what we're gonna do now, as I told you already, we're gonna add some water, just a touch. And we're gonna add some vinegar. Let's say uh, a couple of tablespoons. And As I said, some of sugar. How much of this is salt? Nah, it's sugar, I check it already. <laughs> uh, we, choose the, um, we choose the red onions, because uh, the, the flavor is a, is a less stronger than the white one. Plus, they are, they are much better when they caramelize. Uh, let's say even for the color, because I really prefer the, the color of the red one. So even like that, your girlfriend is not gonna complain. Oh, that's so... Yeah. Actually, like... I'm gonna add some garlic on my basil oil. Do you know what? In the meantime, this is cooking. You don't have to keep staring it, to keep looking at it. Grab a rubber lemon, take one, take out the skin. If you want the middle, you can keep it, you can eat it tomorrow morning. No, I'm joking, that. just throw away. Take out the skin and make a julienne of the skin. Right. As I said before, julienne is just a way to cut the vegetables, cut everything in a thin way. We are cutting the skin and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste the, the internal part because I can do a really nice gin tonic tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow morning or tomorrow lunch? Tomorrow morning for breakfast. 
But this is, is the Julienne, it's always the same. Hey, this is really popular in the kitchen, right? Let's make sure this is gonna be like so thin like this. Do you know what? I'm gonna add some. Can I put some salt in your onions? Ah, yeah. Do you like it with that? You're actually yeah. a really healthy person. Can I put some salt yeah, in Yeah, I love okay, that. Okay, cool, man. man. He's always complaining about too much salt, too much oil. Just, I just love food, so. Do you see this bottle of oil? Basically, for me, it's enough for two salads. He just cut for me the preserved lemon. As you can see, the, the onions are almost ready. You can see they change completely the color. As you see, it's really, really soft. Can I go for it? Try one. Even if it's raw? Oh, no. He prepped for me the skin of the preserved lemon. I'm gonna add on it some garlic. The thinner it is, the better it is. The way we're gonna cook this courgette, I still need to cut it actually, we're gonna make an infusion of oil with the skin of the preserved lemon and the garlic. So the garlic are really thin. Well, I'm gonna tell you, when you cook it, just go really easy with the power of the heat. Okay, so the onions are ready, so we're gonna take them off from the fire now. So I'm gonna start cutting this beautiful courgette. And in the meantime, I'm doing it, my friend Mirko, He's gonna cut just enough the olives. He like the easy job. The way I'm gonna cut this courgette is in angle. Just, there's not actually a way, there's not actually a reason. Just because I like it. So what I'm gonna do is just cut that thin slice. Nothing like the garlic. It'll be half centimeter, no more than that, no less than that. Now, ready to cook. What am I gonna do? As I told you before, really low heat. otherwise it's going to burn. Do you know what? In the meantime, I'm cutting this courgette. My beautiful friend Mirko is going to cut the olives for me. Just enough. In the meantime, he's doing it. I'm gonna start with infusing this oil. And as I said before, really low heat. I'm gonna infuse this garlic and lemon zest. As soon as the garlic and the lemon start taking colors, I'm gonna add the courgette. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna take out the courgette from the pan. I'm gonna let the rest have been on the board. Why, wow, they're tired already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because there's so much oil on it. And as soon as I have the courgette... We're gonna start to plate the, the dish. So I'm gonna use the courgette as a base of my burrata. Just gonna put it in an easy way. Let's say, to make it look like a flower. Then, what am I gonna do? These onions, I'm gonna put on the base just like this. That's it. Beautiful burrata. Let's make it nice. Let's put two lemons in here. <laughs> then, what we're gonna do is the black olives after. Just maybe a thin the top. A few around. Some of this beautiful basil oil. So to finish, I'm gonna grate some nutmegs on it. So do you know what's the best thing of the burrata? Tell them, Mirko, tell them please. Okay, let me show that. It's the meek, where well, soon you cut them, it's coming out. Should be everything for today, no? Should be everything for today. So don't forget to follow us on our page, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. For other recipe, write below what you think about us, about our recipe and our job. So that's all for today. See you next time. Going places. Thank you very much. Yes.